goes to Cancun by themselves? Me. Victoria Rose. If you're wondering who I am and I travel around the world in the most inconvenient ways possible. I complain all the time. I want to encourage you that even though things are hard, you can still do them. You can complain about them while you're doing them. I do. I Anyways, I'm in Cancun now. I got in at like 3 a.m. last night. Didn't get a lot of sleep, but I wanted to show you my fairy home that I'm staying in. Um, this is kind of out in nature, as you can hear. No sounds except birds. It's it's very nice after being in Mexico City. I was in Mexico City before this. This is about two, two and a half hour flight. So that's a catch up on where we're at now. And I'm just gonna show you, I guess like 12 hours in Cancun because that's all I have. I have to leave super early manana. This place that I'm staying at is, I booked it specifically because it's so cool. It's kind of like this nature jungle vibe. And there's, I think there's an infinity pool and it wasn't that expensive. And it's like a fairy little escape. So I haven't gone out yet. And then we're going to go and try to nap. There's no Ubers here, okay? And you guys know I rely heavily on Uber, so I have to figure out how to get a taxi. Now I've read in Cancun, taxis are not the most best way to travel around here. Private transfer is preferred, but I don't know how to do that. You guys ready to explore Cancun solo? Don't know what I'm, I, I have no plans. I literally don't know where anything is. I looked up a random beach and I'm gonna get a taxi. There's no, um, there's no way to get food or water. Like I said, we're out in the middle of nowhere. Also, I don't have cash. So in order to get to Playa del Fins, I think is the beach that I found, um, I'm gonna have to stop in an ATM somewhere and try, try to get some cash out to pay the taxi. Look at this. Look, I was like, where's the shower head? Watch. So this place is absolutely incredible. Um, and guess how much it was? It was $40 a night. I got it for two nights um, because I got in really late, but it has everything. It has a grass bed. Like, look at this. This is so... It is very hot here. Just so you know, the, the weather is like probably upper 80s. So not only does this place have an infinity pool, it also has a waterfall, which I'll show you. Also, it has a fairy house, which I'll also show you. And it has steps up the fairy mountain. Do, 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 do. The little fairy seats. This reptile. I'm, I'm not supposed to get my new tattoo wet, so I'm trying to keep it out, but this water feels so good. So this uh, Airbnb is like 10 minutes from the airport, just for a little bit. I have my microphone on too. <sighs> okay, I've, I've done it. I put my tattoo in the water. Lo siento. 
so I have to leave early in the morning and get a COVID test before I go back to the US. And my mom just told me that it snowed yesterday. <laughs> so I'm trying to soak in the sunshine while I can. I didn't plan on going back to the States, but I need a bit of a break from traveling. I can order some things from Amazon and then plan my next travel adventure, which I'm hoping is either the UK or South Korea. I want to do South Korea so bad. Now we're gonna try and get a taxi and get to the beach just to, you know, if I'm in Cancun, I feel like I kind of have to do it, even though it's a bit of a hassle, because this place has it all. Oh, that's a lot of sun. That is a lot of sun. Oh, too much. Okay, I think I've got enough. I don't know that I'm ready for snow particularly, but... <laughs> so I brought this with me to try for you guys. I did not open it or try it yet, so... 14? I mean... Can't really tell it's crickets. It's weird. Like, it doesn't taste like crickets, that's for sure. But it tastes different. All right, well, that's cricket protein. That's a bad idea. I'm so thirsty. I have no water. So I'm just waiting here for a taxi. I have to translate that I need to stop at an ATM first. All right. An ATM. God, please work. If this does not work, I cannot put pay my taxi because I have tried before Mexico to get money out and it wouldn't work. But it was a sketchy ATM, so really, really neat. Yes, it's working. All right, we got cash now, baby. Okay, I'm here. It was, I think, three hundred pesos which is $15 but we're here in a beach in Cancun and I have to while I'm here so this is Playa del something very popular famous god it's so hot here I gave it with uh, an iguana here which I'm very happy about although we didn't have a tail so. um, my main objective is to find agua I'm incredibly thirsty and drink anything the whole day but I need to find, yeah, I need to find something I'm sure there's a million people selling it here. to talk to me? Is that normal? <laughs> yes, in, in Mexico, the Mexican people, it's so sociable, yeah. uh, so friendly. It was different because I was just in Mexico City. And yes, nobody... see, I, I'm from Mexico City. Oh, okay, yeah. So... But they don't talk to me there, but here everyone's talking to me. Um, so I got the bus for 12 pieces, which is super cheap, and I'm going to now go into the center. I still haven't drank any water. Update. Um, I know it's unhealthy, really. You gotta stay hydrated, especially in this heat. So I'm back in the ferry casa. 
I should probably get to bed soon. It's around like nine something. I went and got food and then got an Uber back here. But um, <laughs> the address is very strange. So I had to like direct them with coordinates, but we made it very happy. And I think uh, I got a pretty good full day. I got to stay here at the Ferry Casa and then I got to see the beach in Cancun and then I got an authentic uh, Mexican meal. So I think I did pretty well here in Cancun for the 12 hours that I've been here. And I'm ready to fly out again, go back to the airport in the very early morning. So I haven't had to have a COVID test for a very long time because I flew from London to Colombia to Peru to Mexico and now Mexico to the United States without having to get a COVID test. Cancun, I know that there's probably things to do if you go on like tourism and stuff, but it's very touristy um, around the area. So I think one day is good for me. I have a little bit of water. I literally like only drinking, only drank a bottle of water today. Gracias. Me, agua. Ah. Good morning. It's six something in the morning. I'm so thirsty. I'm dying. I'm so thirsty. I should have gotten more water yesterday, but like, I didn't. So. Get my test now. It's 290 uh, pesos, which is probably like. Not that, not that much, like $15 or something. That was literal record time for getting a, a COVID test. I am proud of myself. I was like, zip, 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 zip. Get kind of professional at this. My back is killing me. All right, let me just show you the fit of the day. So when you're traveling alone, you can carry all your own stuff all the time. I mean, I should carry my own baggage, shouldn't I? <laughs> Some people are like, you're so brave, you're always traveling alone. I'm like so used to it at this point. I don't even know what it would feel like to have someone constantly there. That scares me probably more than being alone. The only thing I don't like about being alone, and what I don't didn't really like about Cancun, the, the beach I went to anyways, is that even though people were really friendly, I felt like a beached mermaid or something. And maybe, yeah, sure, maybe it was flattering, but it's kind of like I couldn't just sit there because literally every two seconds someone was coming up to talk to me or try to take pictures with me and stuff. And it, it was kind of strange. I've never had it that crazily before ever. Um, just one after another and another and I didn't even get them on like camera because um, I kept trying to take my own pictures because I like to do that I'd rather take my own pictures because I know my angles but they kept if they would see me trying to take my own pictures they would come up and be like hey you want me to take your picture for you and then they'll be like can I take a picture with you and you know it was like oh my zipper is completely down <laughs> the amazing race racing no one but except for my problems just kidding I don't have any problems <laughs> I don't stay in one place long enough to have problems. <laughs> it's a good thing about running away from everything is that you don't really acquire problems anymore because you don't get close enough to people or places to have problems. <laughs> the masks. It's very freeing. If you want to know the airports, well, from my experience, the airport that has the longest lines and the meanest, grumpiest people anyways, it's the US, 100%. Um, specifically, JFK. This is such a long travel day. Like, I'm so tired. My back hurts. I just wanna sleep. Like, if you keep traveling when you're burnt out, you get physically, socially, everything tired, it's not good. So I just need a little rest. I'm waiting for one more flight back to Pittsburgh. <laughs>